Hello. Hello. Hi, everyone. Hi. Hello. It's us, the J girls. Who are you? I'm Little J. And who are you? Big J. I am Mommy J. Mommy J. I am the gay, 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 gay. Yeah, we are back on another episode, edition, broadcast, whatever you call it, of Couch. Yeah, and that's so that's so lame. You have to do the Yay. game. Yay. Yay. Exactly, you have to do the game. Now we have an interesting topic. Last week we were going, we're looking at virtues. Yes, we're going to look at the characteristics of just virtues. We just decided to calm. You know, when I was growing up, we call it some palm. So you some palm, oh, you calm down. Mean. Eh? That's what it means. Yeah, some palm means that. So we have some palm on virtue. And this week we are looking at something else uh, for the next few weeks. And uh, we are thinking about what were we thinking? We just said we should look at something that is not really, really, we've not spoken about at all. And uh, interestingly, the J girls came up with something. What? You did. She did. <laughs> she did. She, she did. <laughs> and so we decided to talk about masquerade. Yay, African masquerade. That's what we are talking about today. All about African masquerade. In the next four weeks, I hope we'll be able to break down different kind of masquerade. But today is just a summary, big picture of all the masquerades in Africa. So girls, are you ready to dive in? Mm -hmm. Okay, so everybody at home here we go we have a slight introduction so our introduction says what do you know about masquerade now i want the j girls to answer me hmm. what do you know about masquerades hmm. what no no sorry sorry let me start very well what do you know about african traditions and beliefs which one do you know i know about christianity and islam are the two main ones. Uh huh. And in Madagascar, and in Madagascar, mm -hmm. there is a bit of Hinduism. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure because there were immigrants from India and mm -hmm. that part of Asia, mm -hmm. Southeast Asia. Okay. Um. <laughs> so, Nitya, do you know anything about um African traditions and beliefs? Not really. Not really. Okay. So you don't know how they also hey, express I do. I do fasting. Body. Fasting. <laughs> okay. She does fasting. So uh, so do you know how they express themselves? No, you don't. Definitely won't know. Uh, so do we believe in them? We'll find out at the end. And at just at this time, we're asking you to visit and subscribe to our website, readgroofy.com. Uh, we have a lot of books for kids to read, kids at the primary school age, and anybody that is interested in some big books there. And uh, we also have some cultural information. That's why we're dealing with culture on our website. So please remember to sign up your kids, subscribe, love ya. All right, so let's continue. <laughs> okay, so guess what? Many African societies have rich culture of masquerades what? pardon yes it does yes it does the new uh, yam festival that's or... part of african tradition oh. but we are talking about masquerades today aren't there masquerades in there like there's a yes kitchen, when when they are in the kitchen yeah when they that are displaying there will be masquerades yeah but that's that's like the tradition that brings out the masquerade that's like something they have to do that brings out the display of the masquerades okay so uh many african society have rich culture of masquerades they play which play um ceremonies and dance by max performance read the second line they provide entertainment define social roles and communicate religious meaning okay so that means that the masquerades they provide entertainment they define who is the head who is the child who is the monkey who is the dog <laughs> so masks are used in performance and is a treasured part of art you know when i see films nowadays and i see people putting on masks you know and they say blind party it came from africa yeah wait um also um mascots 
mascots. <laughs> Just the name mascots, right? Okay, so brilliant. Uh, so masks mask are used. And um, Little J, read the last one. Um, they are also. They are also important symbols of ancestor spirits or even the history of culture and culture of whole people. So masquerade serves as symbols of the African culture serves as history of everything Africa is about, okay? So when you mention Africa, you can't take away the traditions. That doesn't mean that we all believe in what it is today, but it's part of our traditions, part of our history. So now you have an idea of where we are coming from. So that is an image of the mask. Oh, yuck. And that is an image of a masquerade from Zambia. Wow. That is so. We are going to be seeing more of this as the week goes on. So, what are masks? So, we just talked about their masks. So, masks are. Read. Masks take many forms. Some are made of carved wood, such as the towering masks, like the Dogon people of Mali. Okay. Other group makes their masks from bark, from animal skin. We'll give you an ex extensive material Wait. later on. Wait, what is the biggest masquerade? I can't remember what it's called, but it's really big. Do what? The eye something. That's in evil yeah, tradition. That was, is that the one that's I know? That's an evil tradition. The one I know is the China one. That's a beautiful There's a great, no, that's <laughs> the, that's the tra Chinese dragon. No, there's, that is a masquerade too. Actually. Yeah, that's yeah. a masquerade. Um, it's the great spirit in evil tradition. In evil tradition. There's a book that we are reading. Ah, so the JVL's actually teaching me. Yeah, Good. No. So not all masks are worn on the head or over the face. Maybe the way it's on the leg, I don't know. So traditions of West Africa states such as Benin wore special masks on their chest, on their hips. I just said it to symbolize royalty. Wow. Does it still have like aisles and everything? Okay. Is it like a face or well we'll find out when we when we start dwelling on West African masquerades. So that's an example of some masquerades. <laughs> that's scary. First one, the first one, their eyes. They're so scary. Uh, exactly. That's why they are masquerades. Okay, so let's continue to talk about masquerades. Um, the person who performs this is called a masker, mascot, masker, masker. and undergoes physical changes. So what are the changes? Number two? Uh, the the costume worn with the mask is just as important as the mask itself. A masker dresses in private and covers every inch of their body to conceal their identity. So you so can't no see one them. Will know. No one will know who is Except inside. Except their relatives. Even the relatives, they won't know. They could, like let's say they are a group of or... let's say they are a group of five masquerade. How will you know which one is which? Um, ah, I it, yeah. So because even. Okay, Big J. Are we on the yawning party today? <laughs> okay. Costumes can be quite complex, made of hoops, padding, poles, and layers of fabric and raffia. Okay, unfortunately, while many museums co museums collect masks, very few costume survive so what the museum just collects is the headgear and, and not then, the body not 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 mm. much yeah so let's let's look at the example of mm, this one no. so <laughs> the museums will collect that and not all these ones <laughs> so what is the gary i part <laughs> ah, look, at this one, look at his face <laughs> oh, oh, look at no. this one. oh my god oh my god <laughs> You have nightmares. That's so scary. <laughs> and what about those that people that see them every time? Oh. All right. So you are the one that said we should do this topic. So <laughs> the masked spirits are paired to the community in music or dance. We've said that known as a masquerade. Sometimes the spirit's movement is unpredictable because they will just dance and dance was. <laughs> Although the audience uh, know that it's a human being behind the mask, except that the spirit of a mask is present. So they believe that there's a spirit that is associated with 
Wait, uh, but it's so not it's the same with mascots. They're, like, controlling mm? it. Buddy? So it's like, they know that there is a human performing, but mm. there's a spirit. Like, Wait, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's, spirit it's different with mascots. They think that the that there's no person inside. They think the thing that is moving is real. No okay. All right. So you know you know why why this one is more, more different from mascots or that any other thing we do is because um the one of the mascot the person controls the mascot but for this masquerade they the spirit whatever <laughs> there is a spirit that they believe that is behind the the masquerade so they respond to the spirits either in fear just like you say yeah or enjoy depending on the purpose so they're like when they're doing it for a ceremony when they are doing it for a ceremony to respond in joy and when they are doing it for a funeral a funeral or something they respond in fear wait you have someone dancing in a costume at the funeral that is african <laughs> so although mask represents either male or female figures all masks are usually male so you have female mask all male, male. All male. That's you said we talked about social roles. Do you really want to dress in that creepy costume, Jed? <laughs> so the social roles in Africa, the social roles of masquerades are for men. So they define the social roles. That was so like the place in ancient Greece and ancient Rome there there were boys who always had to be the girl. Oh, girl, boys had to always be the girls. Okay, good. And so you can see if you see most African communities, the women are allowed to wear are not allowed to wear masks or participate, but they're allowed to act in the audience. So that's what they're allowed to do. And so can you read the next one, Little J? They perform song songs and right. dances to doing? accompany the I'm masker. Dancing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah, yeah. Okay, did you see those masks today? That way they that way they look Okay, so me big J. <laughs> Women also assist in creating the master's costume. Yeah. Sometimes even providing their own clothing for the female figures. Oh dear. So that is what the they bust. do. Yeah. It's not with us. Okay, so let's see another image. Ah! Ah! Oh, <laughs> so that's an image of a mascot from so Zambia scary. and from Mali. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's, a like, <laughs> what? that's not the long face. Yeah. yeah. You can imagine what is this made of? This like clay? Probably, yeah. Yeah, and then that is with materials, fiber, uh, fabrics, fabrics. And then more fa fabrics. And you know this is? How do they see? Do they see how to... Uh-oh, what did I do? Mm. What did I do? Mm. Have you gone to the next slide, Nimble? Okay, next no, okay. All right, so that is... So let's go to the next one. So let's look at the primary materials. We've talked about it. So they are made of wood, wood, but can also be made of terracotta, glazed pottery. I think the one before was made of pottery. Yeah, glazed maybe pot it was pottery, yeah. yeah. Bronze, brass, copper, ivory, or leather. Okay. Yeah, big little J. Adorned and decorated this cloth, graffiti, and other plant fibers, shells, beads, and found objects like porcupine gills and other natural objects, feathers, horn and paint, cow, cow and uh -huh. nails, nails, nails. And, yeah. and colored they glass. Could, or yeah. like screws. So screw nails. Yeah, so they, will <laughs> that. That. So they really look the very, 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 very scary, right? Mm. Very scary. So girls, let's see the next no. sample. No, ah! no. <laughs> That, that's what that looks normal. Yeah, that one looks like Yeah. So, well, this one, look at the hand. You'll see that it's a human being, but yeah. the face is covered. Oh my gosh, the face is scary. <laughs> the snout is on its chin. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> and then it's just like, and then it's 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 all right, so let's okay. see and talk about masquerade themselves. We talk about their different um, masks. And so the masquerade themselves, they are primarily in the Western and the Central African culture. There are less of them in the North, in the East and the West, Southern Africa. We'll find out in the next few weeks. And But sometimes in, uh, in, in somewhere like Morocco, 
And the masquerade are connected to Muslim festival. And that is very strange because I didn't expect the connection between Islam, know, and, yeah, Islam and Islam hey, and Muslims. I'm not sure they have any Christianity. Huh? Yeah, but, if, but even if they don't have Christianity in Morocco, like maybe one or two percent, I I couldn't imagine that Islam will be associated with mass or. I thought masquerade. that was just a really traditional. And yeah, I thought masquerade yeah. like just traditional, traditional. Muslim. Yeah, where my highlight. Oh, yeah, maybe. So, um, in rural Malawi, they also mm -hmm. hold ceremonies, uh, wearing masks. Uh, especially when they want to um, install, village, yeah, install the new village in village head. So there will be a special ceremony. Mm -hmm. So uh, people in many society believe that spirits become visible and perform through masquerades. We've said oh, yeah, they are yeah. the spirits again. Spirit. <laughs> in Yoruba land in Nigeria and in Congo. Um, they hold masquerade with ancestral spirits. So they say whenever a masquerade appears, the ancestral spirit appears with it. You know what ancestral spirit? The spirits of the fathers, fathers, fathers. And in Ivory Coast and Igbo land, they believe the spirit of a forest act out in masquerade. So they believe in spirits of the forest. So they believe that the spirits are in the masquerade. Not human. No, yes, they believe that it's the spirit that is manifesting through the humans. They know it's a human there. So once you put on the, the masquerade clothing, the spirit controls you until the masquerade clothing leaves your body. I would like to be controlled by something. I, I would do like, I would be, I know. <laughs> mm. That is why if you look at it, the kind of spirits we believe, also controls us if we allow him but if we allow him because he gives us the will but in this sense these people don't have control the spirit controls them whether they want or they don't want well, but for I mean, us they put on the masquerade clothing so they have control to take exactly it off they ask they are no they have they but when they get it on but they once you put it on you allow the spirit to control you now in uh, some communities in nigeria water spirits uh, performance are done annually where masquerades are also used and they join they appear in the performance ah, oh, okay this is nice bad. this is not <laughs> bad so this is it's another like, ah. yeah so we might show this image looks this looks like this little show. chinese dragon yeah, head but yeah. it doesn't have a dragon it's just I like this this um embroidery that's a lot of work going into mm. that okay, and imagine, only for like yeah they did that minutes. they did that no they can't do that yeah. that'll be months I thought no, this no, are you wearing it for ten minutes? No, no, but, but they wear. They'll keep it for the next year. Wait, it doesn't. Oh. It doesn't lose. Once they've done it, it's part of their costumes. Oh, okay. All right. So key facts. Let's go through the key facts today. Uh, -uh Why is this thing always in there? The key facts. Uh, masquerades are important. Uh, in social events such as initiation. So when you want to initiate you know, in Africa, there's there is initiations from coming coming of age, in other words, from childhood to oh, childhood. Oh, <laughs> when, when, adolescence. No, so when you're moving from childhood to childhood, you have to do a ceremony. And when they are initiating you into adulthood, this masquerade will come out. And they come, <laughs> they come and catch you. So spirits act through max performance and oversee rebirth of um, adolescents into adults. I just said that. In funerals, uh, among the Congo region, the masquerade performs two functions. Uh, they act to they act in terms of social disorder brought by death. What does that mean? In other words, if a death happens and every the, the society is disarrayed, so the masquerade oh, will come. Right, crying. Crying and everything. Uh, and they also, the second aspect is they also come to restore order. Um, wait, so. but in some funerals, the people might be happy because the person that died might be a bad person. <laughs> no, yes, 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 that's it's true. Really yeah, that's true. Bad. But when, even if the person is bad, during the funeral, everybody says something good. No. <laughs> Nobody really says, oh, he's not a bad person. But when they get into their house, they'll be like, ah, oh, what a relief, he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> All right, so. The girls have not seen oh. this. I did it and they've not seen it. So that is wow. another form of masquerade. Oh, um, there will be another one. Yeah. So in modern Africa, nowadays in modern Africa, 
masquerade takes a new form and the purpose is to meet new needs and conditions. One example is the Urban Multicultural Marks Association in um, Sierra Leone in the 1950s. Oh, so it was it was developed as a response to social uh, social um, unrest, and so uh, the masquerade was used for um, rituals and haunting groups and secret society. In other words, if they feel that there is unrest, so the masquerade are employed at that point to bring um, harmony in the society. Okay, so. Let's see, what's the next fact? Ah! <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> looks like a diver. Diver. Yeah, it looks yes. like a diver. Not the diving mask. Oh, diver. Yeah, the diver mask. Yeah, okay. so it looks like the diving mask. Yeah. The old fashioned ones, they're not the. Yeah, not the real ones. Yes. All right, so today, we just continue about today. The diversity of creative expressions of African mass and masquerade are on parallel. They transit between uh, generation to generation. You know what that means? They pass down the, they pass down the masquerade the tradition. Ouch. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> they pass down the masquerade tradition from generation to generation. Big J, can you be the next one? Communal performances help promote social harmony by encouraging collaboration, rewarding individual accomplishments, and celebrating community achievements. So they have performance for all the social things, celebration. And so masquerades use humor to provide social uh, critiques and discourage anti-social disorder. Like I remember in the town I come from in Nigeria, that is what some of the masquerade do. They, they come and they dance and they make everybody laugh because they just provide humor. Lucy J, can you read the last one? Many masquerades continue today, even within African diaspora communities in Atlanta forever. Reinvigorated and adapted to contemporary. 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 Okay, so let me wow. explain that. Wow, you tried. Give me five. Give me five. <laughs> so in, in the African societies, even now, they've some African in diaspora, like in Atlanta, they've carried the culture of masquerade to the US. You can imagine oh. in the US they are dancing. <laughs> Oh my god, but I they just changed it from masquerade to mascots. <laughs> You gave it a name. It's called, still called masquerade to them. <gasps> so that yeah! oh really, this is not scary. So this is another good. example. <laughs> this is another example of masquerade. Um, so right. <gasps> oh, oh no! Before we get to this, this we have <laughs> that missed. That was scary. Yeah, we have missed a slide or two. Oh, no. So let's check out what is happening. All right, so I don't know what's happening, but this is an example of a masquerade dance in Benin. So you can understand exactly what we mean by masquerades in Africa. Can see them, they are dressed like women, but they're all men. Yes, and see, they put their they put something in their bundle. You want to look at the face, all about the people there, they are seeing their face. So these ones are for entertainment. These ones are not for the cause. These ones are just the ones they use to like if there's a ceremony. See all the people in the village. They are there. They are just entertaining them. Oh, is that my 
I don't know what it is. <laughs> I'm not saying <laughs> it. Yeah, so that is an example of a masquerade. Uh, uh oh, what's mm -hmm. happening? So, hey girls, kids at home, what do you think? Mm -hmm. <laughs> the pictures are good and the thing was also good. Okay, so, so what do you think? For now that you so said you wanted to know about masquerade, what do you think after watching? I learned more about what they do because I used to think they're only for entertainment at special events because sometimes they Sweet deliver up. messages mm -hmm. from their spirits and, okay. mm -hmm. and that kind of thing. Maybe. Okay, so now you know what that they do more than just uh, entertainment. entertainment. What are the things that you've learned that they do today? I learned that they deliver messages from their spirits. <laughs> And they also, um, they also like, I didn't know they dance at funerals either. Yeah, they dance at funerals, but that would be, yeah. So they dance ceremony, funerals, Christmas. Um, initiation. Oh, yeah. Christmas, okay. yes, is a choice, but I don't, yeah, Christmas is ceremony, it's a celebration. Yeah. And then the Muslim one, which I found out today for the first time, that they also dance in a Muslim festival. Mm -hmm. No, they don't do anything like that in Africa. <laughs> they just mess up too. So this is a tradition. It's not doesn't have anything to do with um, what's just Halloween you just mentioned. All right. So any question and answer, comment, please share. Remember to like, subscribe to our YouTube page. Please remember to visit our website, readgroofy.com. Uh, that is not showing here. Huh? I said, oh, huh. yeah, that is not showing. Now. So please remember to comment any question. Send your questions to us. I will try as much as possible to answer. And so the last question at the introduction said, do we believe in it? Hmm. Okay, yes, I'll go from there. I'm oh. an African. I never grew up with the traditions of uh, masquerade because I lived in the city. So I never experienced it um, forthand, but I have watched them in videos. So I would say technically, I don't believe in them. Um, I'm also a Christian. So that makes it totally alien to me. <laughs> like the dancing and the... The dancing the is fun. Seats. I can watch the fun. I can watch the entertainment. In fact, I actually like the one from Edo State. But it takes a long time. Yeah, but they are very... They call them a babolenimi. If I pronounced it well. <laughs> I just sleep <sleeping. laughs> Okay. Okay. me. Okay. So, guys at home, that is a quick preview into masquerades and African mask and what they are for and why they do it. Next week, we'll try to dive into the several areas in Africa and give you more in depth. Maybe we'll describe a particular ceremony and how they go through it. But um, at this, we want to say thank you. Please visit our website, subscribe, register your kids to read on our website. We have very good books there and our books are very cultural sensitive if you're interested in cultural sensitive books. Uh, so you have readgroofy.com and we also have a lot of materials from different uh, countries and on our website, just register. And we also have a, a place in our website where children can communicate and grow a reading community. Please. If you go on any visit, let's assume during Christmas, you kids, you're going home for Christmas and you travel and you experience any of this, maybe a masquerade or you experience any of the traditions in Africa. Remember to log on our website, upload your information, upload your pictures. We will display it on our website for all the kids to see and experience the same thing you experienced. You forgot something. What did I forget? The kids pack. The what? The kids Pack. The kids pack. The Christmas. Oh, the Christmas pack. Yeah, we have a Christmas pack for kids. In development. And no, if you go to our website, you can order your pack. We have a traditional African Christmas making pack, which we are selling. And we also have the um a house house rules. Can you give me an example of a house rules? Where is the house rules? And no, you have to go through that side oh. because you are going to go through the camera. Oh, so we have the house rules, which we have already 
um we have already published so if you want to order our house rules go to our website and order the house rules oh yeah. my god it's not showing properly the blue one, the the blue one. one. Yeah, yeah thank you oh wow there's pink there's blue there's no no orange, you have to, okay so let's let's show wow. the blue so that's the blue one so that's our house rules we've done all these house rules through our youtube channels and we made them into something you can just buy frame for your house this you can give as a christmas gift for as many families as possible if you want if you know that there are families that you want them to you know develop very good family foundations through house rules with their kids we have think about before you act touch softly stop respect unity visit our website and other your house rules and uh we hope that we will get back soon now the day girls are manifesting <laughs> <We're trying to laughs> down, so all right, right so them. thank you so much for joining us can we say bye bye to the kids so kids at home remember to comment on our website tell us what you feel about what we presented today Tell us what you want us to add or what you want us to remove. And until next time, when we'll see you again, we want to say bye. bye.